und Skagens. You heard that a moment ago. Couldn't let you miss it. Own Scoggins. Getting it back to under par numbers. Oof. for birdie. Own for birdie at six. Uh, yesterday, she also bogeyed that hole, though we didn't see it. Uh, we saw, based on the scorecard, that it had very little negative effect, zero negative effect on her game. Holland has crept up into a tie for third. Thank you. Holland is in the basket, bringing her to six under total. Got it. Let's see if she can make a correction and put one in. through that turnover. This hole is not easy. We're looking at a star um, birdie frame here, but it is much tighter than, than those shots made it appear. But now an opportunity for Owen to pull within two strokes. She's currently five under. She does it. Scoggins. Wow. Taking the more aggressive line, skimming the edge of the OB, but staying safely in bounds. Oh, and Scoggins, what an approach. Scoggins throwing her approach at the par four. Own flexing her destroyer up that gap with great success. Thank you. Very well done. That was an awkward position. It's a 35 footer. Meanwhile, own Scoggins. Exquisite. And you'll experience a miniaturized version of what own is tackling right now. Own oh, Scoggins. The disc tumbles over the edge of the basket on the right hand side. Own with the par. Own has been here before. 
One more look at the make from Alexis Mondahano, which may have put a little pressure on own. It's the home stretch. Own Scoggins will throw first. Owen choosing the same gap that Cat just executed very successfully. Buried. And we're tied at the top. Alexis Mondahano and Scoggins. Not a replay. Owen Scoggins throwing first off the tee at 17. Coming at you, Nate. Absolutely prime time, Grant, and getting the favorable roll. She is inside circle two. Smart play by Owen. This for a birdie with Owen underneath the basket for a birdie of her own. Wow. That one is what knotted things up. Owen Scoggins live on the tee at 18. similar to where she found herself yesterday on the right-hand side of the fairway. Oh, a big kick there all the way across, oh, JK. No. Drama at the last, throwing her third. Ooh. I think that's about as close as you can be. I almost pee in my pants. Look at this. <laughs> the hot round of the day, in fact, at seven down. And Owen Scoggins. Finally! A Masters major champion two weeks ago, now a champion in the Open division. Your FBO Mid America Open champion for 2023, Owen Scoggins. Thank you. Hey, come here. Come here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So much. Great job. Thank you. What a battle, the battle of Manduhano and yourself. Like, talk about the battle. Like, what, what did it feel like out there today? You know what? I cannot even breathe. Every hole, I'm just so nervous. And Alexis just part like fire today. She not even miss any single. She make like two or three outside, like circle two. Like, oh my God. She made me super nervous putting. She's just a great putter. And you know what? We were neck to neck the whole time. And... I just tell myself, hey, keep in shield, you know. If I win, it's good. If she win, I'm happy for her because she's my good friend. So, both that. So. Wow, that's wild to be thinking about that in the moment. Own mm -hmm. you things started off pretty slow, just one birdie on the front nine, and the battle was close. Things really started to heat up though on the mm -hmm. back nine, yeah. hole ten, beautiful, beautiful up and down for birdie there, and then you were parked on eleven. She cashes from fifty feet, like. It, it's it's amazing that two two of the best putters showed up against each other today. You know, I feel like today um, she was like overpart me. She oh my god, I don't know what she eat this morning. Like <laughs> seriously, like she didn't miss any part. Um, so that's why it's give me like she uh, motivate me to putt better because I feel like when she make the putt, I feel like I have to make the putt too to keep up with her. But unfortunately, she just like went OB in the in the whole 18. I don't like to see anybody, like, especially in, when we tie and one more hole to go. I was picture myself and her, maybe go um, pay off in hole one, hole two, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I prefer something like that because I want her to play, like, her best game. It's just somehow she just hit the tree and went OB, and I, yeah, unfortunate that. 
Well, Owen, it, it seemed to mean a lot to you when you when you tapped in here on 18. And, you know, you're a two-time major champion just this year, and, and yet this Silver Series means a lot. Can you talk about what it means to still win in the Open Division out here on the Pro Tour? You know what, for me, it means everything right now because i working so hard, and I have been close so many times last year. I think I got second place five times, and it's just so right there. I could not catch it. I know it's eerie theory, but for me, it's, it's a big win for me because uh, uh, Pro Tour is just so hard to, to win nowadays, you know, and uh, whatever win, I'll take it, and it's, it's mean a lot to me because it's, it's remind me, hey, I can do it. I just need to be right time, right moment, and then just have to play good on, on that whole week. So. Wow. Well, congratulations on your second Silver Series event, Owen, and anything you'd like to add uh, for the people at home? Hey, let's go out there and practice and be happy. <laughs> and if you miss the tree, it's not your end of the, of the world. You know, just keep playing and be smiling and love each other. All right, guys, you've heard it from your Mid-America Open champion, Owen Scoggins. Congratulations.